me, it's not really about the loss, it's about the attitudes that we're playing with. You know, guys are, you know, hanging their heads. It's, it's just doesn't, it's not fun. You know? Like, it's not fun. We're not competing at a high level. You know, even though we're winning, it's, it's still not, it's just not fun. You know, I don't, I don't see the joy in the game. I watch all these other teams going to lead and guys up on the bench, they're jumping on the court, they're doing all, you know, all the stuff that this look like is they're enjoying, you know, their teammate success, they're enjoying everything and they're playing together and they're playing to win. And when I look at us, I just see a bunch of individuals. No one's getting traded, the trade deadline's over. We, we compete for a championship and that's how we got to approach these games. We're going to lose a draw, man. We're going to lose games, but we, we don't have no attitude, we don't have no toughness, we ain't having fun. You know, it's going to be a long season. Back-to-back blown leads, uh, not fun. All-star on the shelf, not fun. Game time, fun. Fun. That's what we are. That's the Friar, David Griffin, the Czar, Mike Fratello right there. I'm Matt Weiner. Good to have you along with us. Uh, setting up a TNT doubleheader tonight, which includes the season Sixers in Philadelphia, guys. Boston, of course, coming off back-to-back bummers against L.A. teams in which they blew leads of 18 and 28 points, respectively, in losses to the Lakers and the L.A. Clippers. Uh, keep in mind, guys, that prior to this stretch, they'd won 10 of 11. So it's all not dire in Boston, right? Overall, this team is moving up. The arrow is pointing upward, not downward. But Kyrie Irving is out tonight because of the knee injury, likely out tomorrow night as they wrap up the pre-All-Star break schedule. Do these last two games now take on a little different complexion heading into the break? Matt, you touched on something that is very unique to the NBA. Attitudes, emotions, and spirit within the team change quickly, very quickly. Yeah, winning 10 out of 11, what a great run. And then all of a sudden, you can walk into the locker room one day and they look different, the look on their face is different, the energy they give is different, and that team that was so cohesive during the 10 wins suddenly isn't the same team anymore. And you sit there and you try and figure it all out, and sometimes you say, is it combinations? Do I need to play different guys together? What's going on outside of basketball that's affected somebody? Mm -hmm. Some of the stuff you don't know because it could be agents calling during the afternoon and telling them whatever it might be. Before the trade deadline, it was, uh, you might not be there in a couple days. Sure. But all of those things go into a team changing and that chemistry changing suddenly. How fragile is it, that, that sort of momentum that they had? Well, I, I think it's fragile just because quite often winning masks a lot of problems. And when you're dealing with things as an organization and everybody's trying to find their role, particularly young players who got to be very focal last year, taking them to the conference finals, being asked to take a step back when they haven't been in the league long enough to have any role really, uh, any understanding of sort of their role beyond that, I think it's very complicated. But. I always go back to the notion that it's never as bad as you think it is right. from the outside. It's never as good as you think it is when you're inside. They're up 43 to 20 against the Clippers the other night, and Kyrie's a plus 15 in 14 minutes before he leaves a game with a knee injury. We'd have a completely different feel if they polish off that game in the way they started it. We'd say, okay, they're fine. They had a little bump in the road, and they're still more the team that was 10 and 1 in 11 games. Now we're looking at them as, oh boy, they're probably more the sum of all the negative, and that's not true either. Griff, let's go back and set the table in the playoffs last year. No Kyrie, no Gordon Hay Haywood. Right. And this young group that you just mentioned winds up taking them to a great series against the Cavaliers before they get knocked out. Mm -hmm. Everybody was on a high. Expectations coming back this season was so great because you have two all-stars returning to the lineup that weren't there for that run. But that changed the roles of the people that had gotten them to that great series against the Cavaliers. And suddenly, guys who were getting 28 to 32 minutes are getting 12 to 14 minutes. All of that goes into the makeup of the team. And that's why it hasn't been the same smooth ride because people are learning different roles, different amount of minutes, our coaching staff had to deal with different players and put this all back together again. This, this team came within a game of the NBA Finals last year. They're a deeper team now. Even though the record is maybe not what folks expected it to be at this point in the season, is this still as dangerous as any of the other teams in the East? Oh, I think without question. And the other thing that's lost in all this discussion of their chemistry issues, 
Gordon Hayward's starting to find himself a little bit. He's been far and away their most productive and efficient player in their last four games. If that continues, they're going to feel awfully good about things coming out of the break. The one thing I know for sure is when your team is a little bit spiritually sullied, shall we say, <laughs> the best thing that happens to you when you come out of the All-Star break is that you get to look at everything with fresh eyes. Guys are rejuvenated again, and I think that will be really important for Brad Stevens because to a huge degree, it's it's now incumbent upon him to find a way to make this work. They've never had the level of expectation they had coming into this season. So in addition to the fact that Tatum and Brown and Rozier played really focal roles, he got to have a magical mystery tour of a season last year. It's a little different when you come and you're supposed to win. Right.